Asalaamu Alaikum, Rani. How are you doing? Asalaamu Alaikum. Yeah, I'm doing well, Alhamdulillah. How are you doing? Alhamdulillah, I'm doing well too. Wait, it looks like you're heading out somewhere. Do you have something planned today? Uh, yeah, I'm heading to Bethlehem Mosque. We've got a recording today. Oh, nice. Mind if we tag along? Sounds good. So what do you do before a uh, recording? Um, well, I normally go on rundown and take a look at the script and prepare myself for what I've got to do today. Wait, what's a rundown? Rundown is an application that we use to take a look at our scripts and to see any timestamps of anything that happens during the recording. Oh, nice. So, Rani, what's the hardest part of presenting? Um, definitely remembering the lines. Right, so that means there's no mistakes when you record, right? Well, uh, yeah, you could say that. <laughs> so, who messes up more? No, sir. Unfortunately, that's all we... Oh, online banking. I don't know why I just did. <laughs> I don't know, I, I, sorry, I was, I, was, I was expecting a VT. <laughs> but first... Oh, no. <laughs> if I followed through, I could have. Here we go. So, Gandhi, did you ever imagine you'd be presenting a TV show in your spare time? No, no, never. You're studying as well, aren't you? Yeah, I'm studying my A-levels, biology, chemistry and maths. Someone's going, guys. How's it going? It's good. That's good to hear. I can see us pulling up to Beth Fatou now. Yeah, we seem to be here now. What's the best thing about MTA? Um, it definitely has to be the experiences. What's your most memorable moment in MTA? Definitely going to MTA, uh, Germany, Jolsa. The exhibition there. What's the best thing about Roundup? Um, hundred percent speaking to all the kids from different cultures and countries. Wait, so how do you balance your studies with Roundup? Um, it's basically just planning my time and making sure I know what I'm going to do every day. What was your favourite episode? It was the season two finale. And how many episodes have you now hosted? Has to be over sixty. Oh, you're a veteran now. Yeah. How did you get the role? Uh, I auditioned. Wait, <laughs> don't tell me you guys are going to show that, right? Asalaamu Alaikum, my dear brothers and sisters. As you know, our beloved Hazur Ayatollah Ta'ala bin Abdul Aziz has been delivering his Friday sermons regarding the companions of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That was good. What were you worried about? You've developed quite the chemistry in Nasser. Did you know him before Roundup? Yeah, we go to school together, so I see him quite a lot. What do you like about Nasser? Well, he's always in a great mood. He brings out the best in others and in every situation he's in. Oh, Nasser. Assalamualaikum. Oh, What's happening here? We're about to start recording. Hurry up. Let's oh. start the test. Right. Speaking of Nasser, Assalamualaikum Nasser. How are you doing? Assalamualaikum. I'm good. How are you? Alhamdulillah, I'm good. So Nasser, what do you like about Ghani? He's a very humble person and I love presenting with him because he always has great energy and is always out there 24-7. What's your favourite part about presenting? Favourite part, I would have to say, it's the thrill of presenting, but it's not as easy as it looks, so. Yeah, we saw that. <laughs> what are the three things you need to become a Roundup presenter? Personally, I would say you need dedication, confidence, and definitely a good memory. Solid advice. Has presenting influenced what you want to do in the future? Uh, to be honest, it hasn't really, because I'm still pretty set on what I want to do in the future. Nice. What's the dress code today? Smart casual, as always. Nice. What's your favourite MTA show after Roundup? Favourite MTA show? I'll have to say Kids Face, and I'm pretty sure everyone can agree. Yeah, it's pretty good, isn't it? All right, I've got some quick fire questions for you. Are you ready? Yep, go ahead. What are you studying right now? Right now, I'm doing A-levels, and I'm doing computer science, maths, and physics. Favourite subject? I'll have to say maths, yeah. Favourite meal at Lunga? Dal Java. Do you prefer cold weather or hot weather? Cold weather, all the time. If you could eat only one dish for the rest of your life, what would it be? Well, as an Arab, I'd have to say falafel. Nice choice. Android or Apple? Apple. Favourite outdoor activity? Cycling. What are you reading right now? Actually, I'm reading Harry Potter, so it's pretty interesting. Oh, I love those. What's your favourite place that you've visited? New York. Ah, the Big Apple. Yeah. What do you want to do when you're older? Inshallah, architect. If everything goes right. Inshallah. And you can breathe now. <laughs> so, Nasir Nagani, how long is this recording going to take? 20 to 30 minutes. But set up 
normally takes longer, so. I see. Do Roundup viewers recognise you when you're out and about? I mean, yeah, even today we got recognised just coming here. You know, I've never realised how bright it is in here. Is it always like this? Yeah, you get used to it. And, oh, that's where you can see your script, right? In front of the camera? That's exactly right. We pretty much always need it. Yeah, especially now. How many cameras are there in here? Do I count three? Well, there's three here, but you've got a fourth one here. It's, it's called a jib, and it's actually just a camera on a crane, really. Wait, who's that on the speaker? That's our director. Oh, where is he? He's in the control room right now. You know what? Let's go have a look at where he actually is. Come follow me, I'll show you where all the magic happens that we do every week. It's pretty exciting if you ask me. It's not every day you get to see this. Let's come through. Can't wait to see this. Yeah. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, oh, so this is the control room. Yeah. As you can see, this is our director. Tala, salam So what happens in here then? So this is where you can check out what you see on the TV. So this controls what camera you can switch between. So what happens if you press camera three? Just like that. Oh, wow. It's pretty cool. Wait, what are those funky buttons behind you? Oh, these, come through, come through. These are the racking buttons, which control the different colours which each camera has. So we can change the greens, the blues and the reds just to make sure they're perfect. Got to try and make everything look good. So I'm assuming these buttons are to control the studio lights? Actually, they're for audio. So as you can see, if you fade something up, you're able to hear it. And if you fade it down, the audio will go. Ah, I see. So what about all the graphics on Roundup? The graphics actually come from back here, this machine. So we can have a little preview of what might happen. Just like that. Oh, that's really cool. But what about all those wonderful reports from all around the world? These we actually play as VTs from this machine over here. So... Wow. So how many people are involved in a Roundup recording? Well, in here, the studio and the control room combined, we have about eight different people but we have many people working behind the scenes, including skilled girls and boys from all around the world. Wow, such a big operation. How do you keep on top of it? Uh, sorry, can we start that? Oh, back? sorry, my bad. Oh, sorry, don't mind us. Okay. I shall call to reach all the corners of the earth. Assalamu alaikum and welcome to the 100th episode of Roundup. You know, Nasser, it's unbelievable to think that that much time has passed. We're already on the 100th episode. I mean, if you can probably tell, it's a really special episode. That's right. But first, of course, we have to take a look at this week's news. So, without further ado, welcome back, Ashman. What you have for us? Assalamu alaikum and welcome to your weekly news roundup. Let's take a look at what made the top stories this week. On Friday, the International Court of Justice finished hearing South Africa's case of genocide against Israel. The two-day hearing came after South Africa filed their case on December 29th. The South African government accused Israel of violating the 1948 Genocide Convention by committing genocide acts against Palestinians in Gaza. While any ruling would not be enforceable, there's hope that the case could halt Israel's military campaign in Gaza. The world has witnessed the killing of over 23,000 people in Gaza since October, of whom 10,000 were children. The killing of Palestinians in Gaza in large numbers, especially children, destruction of their homes, displacement, blockade on food, water and medical assistance are all listed as genocidal actions in the suit. Meanwhile, the US and the UK struck multiple sites across Yemen in response to the Houthis stopping ships crossing to the Red Sea to Israel. Elsewhere, Denmark marked a historic day on Sunday as Queen Margaretha stepped down after 52 years on the throne. Her son, Crown Prince Frederick, ascends the throne, becoming King Frederick X after his mother made her surprise announcement on New Year's Eve. Queen Margaretha became the longest serving monarch in Europe after the death of Britain's Queen Elizabeth II in September 2022. 
Like most European nations, the monarch does not hold any formal government role, but is expected to stay neutral and represent the nation in traditional duties. Barcelona faces Real Madrid today in a showpiece clash in the Spanish Super Cup final. Barca set up the clash after a 2-0 victory over Osisana on Thursday in Saudi Arabia. Real Madrid, meanwhile, beat City rivals Atletico Madrid in a 5-3 thriller earlier in the week. That's all from me. Now back to you, Nasser and Ghanibai. Jazak Lushman for that update of this week's top stories. Now it's time, as always, to head over to Osman and Rohel for our weekly Friday sermon discussion. Let's take a look at some of the key points taken from this week's sermon. Assalamu alaikum, dear brothers and sisters, and welcome to this week's Friday sermon discussion. Today, we delve into the historic Battle of Uhud and the steadfastness of the companions of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. It's truly an intriguing period of Islamic history that holds valuable lessons for us today, especially for our younger audience at home. Let's start with companions unwavering commitment to the Prophet Muhammad peace and blessings be upon him during the battle. It's remarkable how the companions, despite facing overwhelming odds, stood by the Prophet Muhammad peace and blessings of Allah be upon him with incredible courage. The numbers might vary in historical accounts, but what's clear is that these individuals were ready to sacrifice everything for the sake of Islam. And let's not forget the promise taken by eight distinguished companions including Hazrat Abu Bakr radiyallahu anhu, Hazrat Umar radiyallahu anhu and Hazrat Ali radiyallahu anhu pledging to lay down their lives. Interestingly, none of them were martyred in that battle. The companions' dedication was so profound that they would shield the Holy Prophet peace and blessings of Allah be upon him with their own bodies, enduring blows while striking back at the enemy. It is a testament to their love and loyalty. During the sermon, beloved Hazur also addressed the misconception of Thoria, or saying something different from what's in the heart. The Promised Messiah salam, clarified that Islam discourages such behaviour. During Uhud, the Prophet Muhammad peace and blessings be upon him openly declared his identity, in contrast to certain narratives. The transparency and honesty displayed by the Holy Prophet peace and blessings upon him stand as a lesson in integrity for all of us. Beloved Hazur also mentioned individual acts of sacrifice. We have accounts of Hazrat Ziyad bin Sakan anhu, and Hazrat Musab bin Umar. Anhu. Hazrat Ziyad, anhu, hearing the Prophet's call cool, along with six others, sacrificed their lives defending Islam. Hazrat Ziyad's gesture of placing his face on the Prophet's footsteps before his last breath exemplifies the depth of devotion. And Hazrat Musab bin Umar, Razila Tala Anhu, the flag bearer, fought valiantly despite losing both arms. His determination to hold the flag against his chest shows the lengths these companions went to preserve Islam. And let's not forget the injuries sustained by the Holy Prophet, peace and blessings upon him. Despite facing numerous attacks, he remained resilient. His bravery, even in the face of personal injuries, teaches us the importance of perseverance and leadership. Absolutely, Rohil. The Battle of Uhud provides us with enduring lessons of courage, sacrifice, transparency and perseverance. These are values that resonate across time and age, especially for our young audience. Beloved Hazur Ayyadullah Ta'ala bin Asr al-Aziz, during this week's sermon, also shared concerns about escalating tensions, noting Israel's measures against Lebanon and actions by the USA and Britain in Yemen, potentially fueling a broader conflict. In these challenging times, as voices suggest a looming world war, Hazur emphasised the urgent need for prayers and prayed Allah grants humanity understanding and wisdom. Before we conclude today, dear brothers and sisters, let's make it a point to tune in and listen to the full sermon from our beloved Hazur. It carries blessings and invaluable lessons for us to reflect upon and integrate into our lives. Until next time, Assalamu As alaikum. Jazakallah Osman and Rohel for that discussion about this week's Friday sermon. As always, don't forget to catch the 
entire Friday sermon on any of MTA's various platforms. That's right. But moving on, last week we brought you an exclusive look at Qadian Jalsa's proceedings from Islamabad. And today we're going to take you to another Jalsa held recently. Nasir, did you know that the USA actually has two Jalsas every year? It's honestly amazing, isn't it? That's right. So let's take a look. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome to Jalsa Salana West Coast USA 2023. We are here at Battle Hamid Mosque, Chino, California, for this blessed occasion. Let's go see what's happening at Jalsa right now. Ye Jalsa hamara, ye din ke, khuda ki inayat aur ke. Ye jalsa hamara, ye din barkaton ke, khuda ki inayat aur shafqaton ke. Everything in Jalsa is very special, and there's no way to capture it all. I personally really enjoyed listening to the speeches, visiting the MTA studio, and the exhibitions. Assalamu alaikum, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. How's your Jalsa experience been? It's very good. That's nice. What are you doing for your duties? Uh, I'm doing cleaning and water. That's I get nice. to like, help clean the mosque and it makes it look nicer. Have you worked with uh, Danielle with the water duty? Yes. That's nice. Yeah. What are your duties? I'm doing uh, cleaning as well, actually. Uh, so how's that been going? It's actually been really nice. It's been kind of fun. I was able to clean some of the bathrooms here. It was actually really interesting. Uh, very humbling, too. Assalamualaikum. What's your name? Muhammad. Quran. Quran. Ibtisam Ahmed Wale. Sab Sultan Constantino Butt. That's a long name. Yeah. Sabi. So, what do you like about Joseph the best? Uh, water duty. There's so many people to meet. Water duty. Um, giving water. I like to do water duty because when I give water to people, they smile, and that makes me happy. I like to just go inside the Jalsaga and just listen. So it builds brotherhood. That's what yeah. makes me happy, and I meet friends that um, I left like maybe years ago. Yeah, and I haven't seen them in like two or three years, and so it makes me really happy at Jalsas. This year, our theme for this Jalsa is the Ten Conditions of Bed. Also, by the grace of Allah, Los Angeles Jamaat has been blessed to be able to purchase a brand new piece of land right next to the mosque, which can be used for future jalsas. Now I just want to say a few words to the children. You are not ordinary child. You are blessed to be born Nehmadi. You must understand this blessing and realize it, how special you are. You, are, you belong to a special group of people. When you go to school, you're not another schoolmate. You are an Ahmadi, and that pride should fill you up. No other child in the United States has the same status as you have. But you have to realize it. You have to realize it, how special you are in the eyes of Allah, provided you Strive to get closer to Allah. Alhamdulillah, the participants have greatly benefited from this blessed Jalsa. They are returning home rejuvenated and spiritually recharged. Jazakallah for that. But unfortunately, that's all the time we have for in today's hold episode. Hold on, hold on. Assalamu alaikum, Nasa Ghani. How are you? Wa alaikum as How have you been? We haven't seen you in such I a know, long time. I know, man. I've missed you guys as well. How's Roundup? It's been going pretty well, yeah. Okay, so you actually thought you'll finish the 100th episode without me? Well, yeah. Well, why don't we make this more special by doing a Roundup quiz? A Roundup quiz? Yeah, to test your Roundup knowledge. But wait, wait, surely that's going to be really easy for me and us. Okay, hold your horses, Ghani. Why don't we make this more interesting by calling all the other Roundup presenters? Sounds like a challenge. All right, but where are we going to do it? Let's do it on here. Let's do it on this set. 
Zhang Yu, you actually made it. What a pleasant surprise. I know. I heard there's a quiz going on and you needed some help. So I thought I'd come along. Excellent. And here's our fun twist. Our contestants are our current round of presenters. I can see that. It's very exciting. So I guess we'll be testing our presenters on how well they remember the episodes of Roundup over the years and not just them. We have participants from all around the world, as well as you guys at home who can all play along. That's right, Zhang Ye. We're going to be testing your knowledge of Roundup and if you've been paying attention for the last 100 episodes. I guess we should just dive in. But before that, let's introduce our contestants. Sure, sure. So in Team A, we've got Osman and Ghani. And in Team B, we've got Rohir and Nasser. How are you, how are you guys feeling? I'm ready. Born ready for this. Ghani? It's going to be easy. You seem really confident. Yeah. A couple of seconds ago. No, I will be confident. OK, I guess. Before we begin, everyone needs to know the rules. So we'll ask a series of questions and after that, both teams will have the opportunity to buzz in and answer. You'll be given one point for the correct answer and the team who buzzes in first will be given an additional point. I mean, if you get it right, of course. <laughs> Once you have buzzed in, you will have five seconds to answer. If you get the answers wrong, then no points will be given. Let's begin with the first question. What's the email address to contact the Roundup team? Uh, that's clearly right. team B. I've been doing it pretty much every week. I should know. It's roundupmt.tv. Let's see what our viewers had to say as well. <laughs> Roundup at mta.tv. Roundup at mta.tv. Roundup at mta.tv. Roundup at mta.tv. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like the majority have said the exact same. We, Jenna, what's the right does. answer? So, the right answer is roundup at mta.tv. I'm surprised, Ghani, you didn't answer. Yeah, I, I just You say it every week, though. Yeah, yeah, I do. I say it every week. It's a bit slow, Jenna. Yeah. It's OK, we're getting started. <laughs> oh, well, Second we've got, question. We've got, yeah. mm. Where can you see exclusive content for roundup? Oh, team B I again. Two answers, answers for this for these. one. We're looking for two answers. Team okay. B. Two answers? Yeah. There's two. You've buzzed in. Five come, seconds. Come, come, okay, one of them is the MTA Instagram at roundup.mta.tv. At roundup.mta. So you've, we, we need both platforms that you can see exclusive oh, content on. Instagram and... Can, can I? Can I? You've got five seconds. You, you, can, you, you can, can quickly say. Twitter is also at roundup.mta. Okay, so what you said is Instagram and Twitter. Yeah. Should we see what our viewers had to say? Sure, Johnny, let's go. Instagram and Twitter. Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Uh, Instagram and Twitter. Social media. Instagram and Twitter. Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. Zhang, it seems like the viewers at home got the answer correct. Yep, so did Team B as well. I guess it's time to move on to question three. It is. Third question, how can you watch Roundup? I'm expecting three answers for this. Team B. So there's MTA online, as in the app and the website. There's MTA on satellite, as in on your TV. And there's MTA on YouTube. Yeah. Guess we have to see what our viewers said. We should, we should. MTA uh, app. YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> MTA app, YouTube. The MTA. You can watch it on the TV, you can watch it on YouTube and the MTA. OK, the next question. What are the name of the host presenters from the first season of Roundup. Team A. Do you know? Jungi. I'm not sure about that one. I'm not sure about that one. Let's see our VT. Jinnah Bhai and... I forgot the second name. Jinnah Bhai and Jogin Bhai. Jahangir Bhai and Jahan Bhai. Jungi. Jogin Bhai. I don't know. Hey Jungi, who's Jahan? I, I don't John. know. <laughs> Looks like some of them remember the names, but others, mm, not What too was sure. the correct answer, Jangir? The correct answer was, well, Juna and Jangir. Well done. Well done to Team A. What are the names of the current presenters of Roundup Season 3? That was what? Team B. Team B. Yeah. To be honest, this is a difficult one. Um, oof, tricky. I know one of them is Ghani. And what's the other one? Nasser. Yeah, yeah. Um, I guess we'll see what a viewer said. I can remember only one. Nasir and Honey. Hadari. <laughs> Nasir. Honey. Nasir and Honey. Well, I don't know. He either. Jangi, what's the quick answer? I mean, 
It's pretty obvious. Nasir and Ghani is the correct answer. Let's move on to the next question. What segments are in every Roundup episode? Team B. It's Friday Seven Summary and Weekly Headlines. All weekly right. news, weekly headlines, whichever one you call it. Why don't we look at what our viewers had to say at home? Introduction. Friday Sermon. The Friday Sermon. Friday Sermon and World News. The Friday Sermon segment. Headlines sama ringkasan hutbah Jum'at. Jangit, do you remember a segment called Introduction? I'm not sure about that one, but I think we'll give it to Team B on this one. Headlines and Friday sermon summary is what we were looking for. Well done, Team B. Team A, why are you guys slacking behind? Yeah, I don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> Jangit, the next question is just for fun. So, Usman and Ghani, what was your favourite report and roundup? Uh, mine has to be the Friday sermon summary. Usman? Uh, the trip to Guardian. That was nice. Um, Rahib? News from around the world. Look, I have to agree with Rani, but Friday Sermon Summary, of course, every week, love it. But the trip to uh, Medina and Mecca was very nice as well, my personal opinion. Jazakla, jazakla. Jangi, why don't we move on to the next question? We shall. The next question is a multiple choice. So the question is, when does a new episode of Roundup air? First, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays. Or Sundays? That was Ooh, team A. Team A. Sundays. 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 Sundays? Yeah. yeah. Let's see what our viewers had to say. Um, Saturday. Every Sunday. Le Sunday. Saturday. Sunday. Vendredi. Bingo ka. Changi, actually, there were some mixed answers. There were quite a few. Um, I guess the correct answer is Sunday. Well done. Team A. Fair game, fair game. Hmm. Catching up slowly, but. A way to go still. Jangi, our next question is another multiple choice question. How many episodes of Roundup have there been? A, 49, B, 99, C, 149, or D, 199? That was... Ooh. That was us. Team A on that Seems one. like us. Um, 99. Let's see what our viewers had to say. Mm, I think 49. 149. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. There's quite a few 149s in there as there well. Indeed. But do you know what's the right answer? The correct answer was B99. Well done to Team A. They you are are guys actually up. catching up, so good for you. All right, I'll keep, keep the quiz going. Next question is also a multiple choice question. Which year did Roundup start? Hold on, it's multiple choice. Hold oh, your horses. Okay. A, 2019, B, 2020, C, 2021, or D, 2022? Okay, Team B's buzzed in. What's your answer? Yeah, we say 2020. Yeah. You say 2020, mm -hmm. which was B. Mm, not on this time. Team A, you now have the chance to answer the question. Uh, I think it's C, 2021. Yeah. 2021. Why don't we go at home and see what our viewers have to say? Um, I think it's 2019. 2020. 2021. Uh, 2022? 2021. 2021. 2021. Wait, what are the answers? You'll have to watch the show to find out. <laughs> <laughs> so, a majority of people at home also got it right. 2021. Well done, Team A. Taking the point there from Team B. Next question is also a multiple choice question. Starting from the Bedford Studios in London, what is the furthest place that we have received a report from? A. Multiple choice, multiple choice, multiple Australia. Choice. B. Canada. C. Marshall Islands. D. Mauritius. Uh, it has to be Australia, right? That's literally the other side. <laughs> Let's see what our viewers had to say. Marshall Island. Kapula Wani Marshall. Mm. Australia. Aline Maurice. Canada. Mm. Or Canada. Mm, Mauritius. Jangit, they were actually 
mixed answers. There the were, but the correct answer is, in fact, Australia. Well done. Yeah, we had you Well done to Let's Team go. B. Next question. Not a multiple choice. So get ready on the buzzers. Can you name five reports that have been on Roundup? Ooh. Should we do Team B? They have to be actual reports. We'll go with Team A. They can't have all the time in the world. So, they can't be God. segments, they have to be actual reports. Reports. Guardian Jelsa. Okay. Okay. Um, we did one on interviewing kids in Jelsa. Uh, <clears throat> we did one about fruits in foods in the Holy Quran. Um, I think that one was about dates. And we did one about Algebra as well. I think that's five? Four. Have I done four? Okay, one more. Uh, all right, we'll take Team B's as well. Uh, so, first of all, that was, uh, they actually did a segment. The Fees and Holy Quran was actually like five different things. So, we'll go with uh, electric cars. I remember that one, Adani. You actually presented that, if you remember that. Uh, we have Algebra, which is another one that we he did as well. We, we had have... we had Guardian Jalsa. Yeah. We also had Crypto Guardian for the Fallen Kudam. And then we've also done one on cryptocurrency as well. That's why. You know what? Let's have a quick look at this sure. video and see what our viewers had to say. Five. I don't know this one. Chat GPT. Adjusto Solana Guardian. FIFA World Cup. Palestine. Indonesian National Monument. Ramzan. Khudam Khilafat Deh. When Queen Elizabeth passed away. Changi, so who actually got it right in the studio? I think we're going to have to give it to Team B for this one. And unfortunately, Team A was a bit slow to answer. And I'm not sure about some of the reports that you gave there. Team B, points go to you. Jaggi, let's go to our next question. How many different languages have we had reports in? Team B. OK, so I'm hoping this is just closest to who gets the number. So if you do this tactically, we have quite a lot of countries around the world. Sorry. I would say Four, 15. Three. 15, 15, that's my answer. 15. Final answer, 15. I think let's take an answer from Team A as well. Let's just go 14. Let's just go 14. Um, 11. Okay, that's... Let's take a look at what the viewers had to say. 14. 5. 7. 6. 7. 7. 7. 8. Changi, there was actually one correct answer in that. Can you guess which... Well, I know the answers, yeah. so I don't have to guess, but the correct answer is actually six. So, Team A was the closest uh, with 11. So, you know what? We'll give you, we'll give you the point for this one, Team A. Next, Next question. question. Okay. How many reporters have there been in Roundup? This is a good question. That is. Someone's going to have to buzz in. Okay, we'll have Team to B. Do it round okay. up, right? We'll give the we'll give the points to whoever's the closest. All right, all right. Team B. Okay. Is in. it how many of the name all of them? How, how many? many? You don't have to name them. <laughs> just need a number. All right. We'll be all day uh, if you're naming. Twenty-five. Yeah. Okay. And Team A. Seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah, so Why don't we actually look at what you guys had to say? Twenty-five. Uh, Twenty. 12, 69, 110. You know what? This answer surprised me as well. It did, indeed. The answer is actually 185. 185 reporters have been on Roundup. It's quite impressive. Guess you have to go back and watch all the episodes again. But the points on this one goes to point, uh, Team B. Team B gets the points. Next question. How many countries have sent in reports to Roundup? Buzzers. Team B. Uh, is it 24? No, it's less than that. It has to be less than that. Uh, 17. Team, Team A? A? Uh, 25. Okay. Let's see what the viewers had to say. 5. 10. 12. Uh, just think. Like, around like 50? 10. 15? I'm surprised. I am, I am indeed as well. The correct answer is, in fact, 17. Well done. 
Are you, are you, are you guys they knew, like... They knew the exact no, number. Are you guys Nine like... Nine points roundup. <laughs> well done. Okay, that brings us on to our final question of the indeed. quiz, which is a multiple choice, so get ready with the buzzers. Who sent in the most reports from the following? A, Australia, B, Canada, C, Indonesia, or D, Lujna Production? Oh, team, team B. That was We're going to go with Indonesia. Going with Indonesia. Let's take Team A's answer as well. Why not? Well, can't say Indonesia now, can you? Yeah. So, uh, you yeah, you know what? Let's go with Indonesia. I, I, Indonesia. Yeah. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting. Why don't we go have a look at what you guys had to say? Indonesia. Canada. Australia. Indonesia. I think it's Canada. Latino production. They are Latino production. Indonesia. Javi, there were actually some pretty interesting answers. There were quite a few answers in there, but there can only be one correct answer, which was, in fact, Indonesia. Well done, Team B. You are... Well done, Team B. Well, you got the points for that question. To be honest, Team A did give Indonesia as well, well done, but unfortunately, they buzzed in first. So, with that, I think I'll come to the scores. Team A with eight points, and Team B, 18 points. So, clear winners of today's quiz is Team B. Well done, everyone, well but done, I guess that's all we have time for. Jackie, that was really fun, actually. That's all we have for today. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram for exclusive behind-the-scenes content and send us your feedback to roundup at mta.tv. And Jazakallah for joining us on this special 100th episode of Roundup. Keep remembering us in your prayers and the whole entire Roundup team as we continue to produce new episodes every single week. Jazakallah for tuning in. Until next time. Assalamu alaikum. Oh, I shall call. Oh, I shall call. I shall call. Oh, I shall call. I shall call. Thy message to reach all the corners of the earth. Oh, I shall call. Oh, I shall call. I shall call. Oh, I shall call. I shall call. Thy message to reach all the corners of the earth. Oh, I shall call. Oh, I shall call. Seek to reach all the corners of the earth.